What's going on guys? This is eFresh and I'm here with a new video and today we're back in the world of Destiny. If you saw earlier, I put up a video where me and the Hidden Leaf Village squad, shout out to Quincy and David. We were just talking about Rise of Iron and how much we were looking forward to it, uh, what we liked about it, private matches, all that good stuff. So fast forward to today, I wake up this morning and I do my usual YouTube rounds and I see, okay, cool. IGN put up a video where Destin Legary, shout out to Destin, uh, interviewed, interviews Deej from Bungie. And Deej had this to say. And while we're on that topic, when will the PS4 exclusives like Zen Meteor be coming to Xbox One? Yeah, on the box, on destinythegame.com, mm -hmm. uh, it's all there for anyone to read. Uh, it sounds like fall 2017, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, obviously the fine print does a better job of setting those expectations mm -hmm. than I do. So those are the places to look for that information. Now... Did you hear what he just said? Destin asked him uh, asked him about the new the exclusives and when we'll be able to get them, and he said fall 2017. But he wasn't talking to, he wasn't just talking about the Rise of Iron exclusives. He was talking about the Taken King exclusives. So you know what that means? If you've been waiting a year for Jade Rabbit, if you've been waiting a year for the Echo Chamber uh, strike, if you've been waiting a year for a new the new PVP match from back then. And if you've been waiting, it hadn't been a full year, but if you've been waiting a while for Zen Meteor, you won't get any of those until 2017. That's right. So essentially, all those things are going to be on a two-year wait, which is an extra year on top of the one year that they usually do. Now, I hate content exclusives. I think it's a terrible idea. It's a terrible practice. And I wish no company did that, whether it be Xbox or Microsoft. I mean, Xbox or Sony. Now, I've already seen some of the comments in on Fireteam chat of people saying, well, you guys need to go get a PS4 or you need to quit complaining and da 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 But, no. People fucking should complain, including you all. Everybody should be complaining about this because this is a terrible practice and it just divides the game even more. So, I have to wait two years to get these fucking weapons and this strike. And then a year, Destiny 2 is going to be out. So, none of this shit's going to even matter. Like, I, am I going to be like, man, I can't wait to get Jade Rabbit when Destiny 2 is going to come out? Who the fuck's going to care about it then? And fuck that strike and all the rest of that shit. I should be having this shit now. This is, I hate this. And for, for any P PS4 fanboy that's going to come out screaming... Oh, uh, well, Xbox used to get content exclusivity from Call of Duty. Well, yeah, they did. But it was for fucking 30 days. Not a year. Not two years. 30 fucking days. Just like how The Division is also given exclusivity to Xbox One for 30 days. Just like Call of, uh, Call of Duty used to do for 30 days. Battlefield One's going to do the same thing for 30 days. Not a year, not two years. I hate this practice. It is the worst fucking thing. And it's only just, it's its making gameplay worse. And I hate that it's doing this. So, and some of you will be like, oh, well, Jade Rabbit's not even really that cool. Like, I fucking beg to differ. It's a great gun from what I've seen. I want it, but let me experience it for myself instead of me having to sit for another year and just hear you talk about how you don't like to play with it. This sucks. And... I want to get mad at Deej. Shout out to Deej, by the way, because Deej is really good at get, is, is talking slick and getting around some shit. But I want to get mad at Deej, but I can't because I know it's Activision's fault. Activision is fucking Satan, and they've always done this, and they're going to continue to do it, and it sucks. But Deej, I know inside he has to just be like, this is terrible that I have to explain to these people that they can't play this uh, this stuff for another year. But here's the thing. Deej isn't saying that. Deej is slyly sitting in the corner just like, well, you know, you should go check out the Destiny the, Destiny the Game uh, web address and go and read the fine print. It's just like, because you, you know it's a fucking dick move and you don't want to say it. So this is just, this is just me doing a rant video. I'm, it's... It's so fucking annoying that it, in 2016, this shit's still continuing with this fucking game. And it's going to continue afterwards. And there's nothing I can do about it. So, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Um, do you think the stuff's worth it or not? 
because I just I want to hear everybody's opinion on this. But for me personally, I think it's a fucking dick move, and it sucks what they're doing to the community of Destiny. So there it is, man. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you comment. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. And yeah, I'm going to continue to play Destiny. I'm not going to stop. So we're, there is going to be more content coming on the way. Uh, like I said, this is new. This is my personal channel from the Perma Kids. And yeah, there's going to be more stuff to, to come. And fuck content exclusivity before I go. So peace out, guys. Make sure, again, you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And see you in the world of Destiny.